first thing which i want to know from all of you is that uh, what do you know about iron from where it belongs which group which uh, family is it a non metal is it a metal bria got, got the answer first very good very good fatima khosro maruf yusuf arisha majid alvina rusha good to see you active yes it is a transition metal and uh, with a very high melting and boiling point you are very right and if it is a transition metal in which form we can uh, can be extracted from the universe we have studied about this yesterday that uh, metals can be extracted in a specific form and that form is yes that's right they are extracted in the form of ores in the form of ores that's right uh so objective of the lesson today will be to describe and explain the essential reactions in the extraction of uh, iron using hematite limestone and coke hematite is the ore which is used for the extraction of irons and uh, then we have what uh, apparatus which is required in extraction of iron that you're going to observe and uh, reactions involved in extraction so uh, this we're going to study today now the first question is what is iron which i have asked you earlier its chemical symbol is fe and it's a transition metal and forms color compounds you have all uh, told me just right now which is very good it has variable oxidation states such as fe+2 and fe+3 how can you identify now listen my question carefully and then answer it how can you identify that uh, in a particular compound uh which iron is there with oxidation state of plus 2 or oxidation state of plus 3 how can you identify that if i have a compound and i need to know just by looking at the at that uh plus 2 or plus 3 hiba hasib uh, answered me for the uh, very first time very quickly uh, she was the first one arisha manur ari briha fatma khosro sandeen Alvina, Arusha, Hajar Nadim, Manur, Vashe. Yes, you are right. The color. There will be a difference in color of Fe plus two compound and Fe plus three compound. Do you remember the color? What will be the color of a compound who has Fe plus two as in iron? Uh, as in uh, iron. Fe plus two has a green color and Fe plus three is red brown. Maruk Yusuf, Manur, Vashe, Arusha, Ahmeda, Hajra, Fatma, Rafiq. Aksa, Manal, Sandeen, Hajra, Hamida, Briha. Okay, Briha, I've uh, seen it. Okay, yes, your answers are correct. So super proud of you all, eleven S, the ones who join and the ones who are responding. Very good. Next is iron is found in many different ores such as hematite, magnetite, iron pyrite, and uh, siderite. All of these are the iron ores. Can you tell me that among all of these, the which you have, which I've shared just right now, which one we use the most and why? Among hematite, magnetite, iron pyrite, and siderite, which one we use the most and why? Okay. Which one we use? I'm getting the answers. Very right. Uh, but why? Hiba, Alisha, Manal, Arusha, Hamida, Hajra, Fatma, Kosu, Briha, De Arisha, Maji. They gave me the answers. Now I'm asking for a why also. Why do we use hematite the most? Okay, it's a smart answer, Arisha. It's easier to extract. It's a It's a kind of answer which can uh, fit in any place uh, with no harm. What else? Cheap. Uh, that can be a point also. You are right because the more uh, quantity you can get in a lower price, it favors the industry, and industry uh, does go for that raw material, which favors it in terms of cost. So, can be a possibility. Yes, Fatima. I don't know if you know that or you are guessing it. If you even you are guessing it, it's right. This is the case of this is a generalized thing in the case of any ore, uh, 
uh, where, where if they are cheap, if they are readily available, and uh, yes, Arusha, you are also more in content. And Aksa also said that rich in iron, so we always go with that kind of ore which is suitable for the industry. Perfect. Let's move on to the uh, extraction of iron now. How, how does this uh, extraction happens? Let's see. <clears throat> So keep your pencils and your uh, pens in your hand so you, you can write down these steps. And anyway, in the middle, I will ask you to make a flow chart with me uh, so that we can understand. Very right, Hajra. Blast furnace. Yes, we do um, extraction of iron via blast furnace. That's right. Let's uh, watch together. Can you see the changed screen in front of you? Okay, great. Applications. A. Extraction of iron from its oxides. Can you hear the sound? Is it okay, the video I'm playing right now? Then, then I'll continue. Okay, great. In a blast furnace, oxide ores of iron, after concentration through calcination or roasting, are mixed with limestone and coke, are fed. Okay, the first thing which he says is that in a blast furnace, oxide ores of iron after uh, concentration through calcination roasting are mixed with limestone and coke are fed from its top. What is this process? And do we do this process with every ore? If yes, then why do we do that? In a blast furnace, oxides are ores of iron after concentration. Very right, uh, Arisha. So, even Hajra is also very right. So do we need to uh, treat ores, all the ores the same way, no matter which metal you are dealing with, or it is just the case of iron? Great. Arusha, Briha, Hamida Mehman, Fatima, Koso, Hajra, very good, Arusha. That is the right answer. All the ores, Manu Mubashir, purification, very right. So yes, this is uh, concentrating the ore and getting what we want uh, from the sample for the further extraction or further pr uh, process is really, really important. And um, you all are right. Let's move ahead. Coke are fed from its top. Hot air is blown from the bottom of... Can you see the vessel in front of you? What do we call it? This vessel, the, uh, the vertical vessel in front of you, what do we call it? That's right, Briha, Hajra, Hamida, Alvina, Blast Furnace. We do it, we do call it Blast Furnace, Fatma Rafiq, Manur Mubashir, Urusha, Manal Shujat. And then I got Alicia and Aksa. Very good. We got it blast furnace. Of the furnace and coke is burnt to give temperature up to about 20. Sandalin, it's not a busy furnace. It's a blast furnace. But it's okay. I know it's a typo error, but I, I don't know why I enjoyed it. It's again not a blast furnace. It's a blast furnace. Okay, let's uh, concentrate. Is blown yes. from the bottom of the furnace. So the first process, the first step is listen it carefully, write it down. Hot air is blown from the bottom of the furnace, and coke is going to give temperature up to uh, about 2200 Kelvin in the lower portion itself. I repeat, the first process is hot air is blown from the bottom of the furnace, and coke is burned to give temperature up uh, to a rise up to 2200 Kelvin from its lower position. What do we mean by Coke? What is the simplest name of Coke which we use in our general life? 
What is Kog actually? Very good, Arisha. The first one to answer. Fatma Khosu, Maruf Yusuf, Banur Manal, Alisha, Heba Hasib, Hajra, Hamida, Ashmal, Bria, Arusha, Alvina, Aima Amir. New names being active. Good to see that. And Coke is burnt to give temperature up to about 2200 Kelvin in the lower point itself. The burning of Coke therefore supplies most of I would all of you, I pause this video, all of you to note down this uh, first equation, please. That is uh, carbon plus half oxygen gas converting into carbon monoxide. It's a balanced equation. And also write down that, uh, yes, it is a combustion reaction, Bria, and uh, the burning of coke therefore supplies most of the heat which is required in the process. You, we are not much heating it from outside. The only heat which uh, we are getting or the maximum amount of heat which we are getting in this blast furnace is by the burning of coke or through combustion reaction. The heat required in the process and will be oxidized to CO. The CO and heat moves to upper. So whatever the heat is being produced, it will move on the upper further part of uh, the blast furnace. The carbon monoxide and heat moves to upper part of the furnace and upper part the temperature is lower and the iron oxide coming from the top are reduced in steps. So iron oxide is coming from the top and uh, <clears throat> yes, Bria, we will come back to this. Uh, I will come back to this, don't worry. First, uh, the iron oxide, uh, sorry, the iron oxide is coming from the top and uh, the carbon monoxide is come is, uh, is being sent from the uh, lower bottom. Fe2O3 plus CO converting into Fe3O4 uh, plus carbon dioxide, then Fe3O4 is taken into again and it is, it is being separated as iron and carbon dioxide or uh, Iron oxide reacts with carbon and can also turn into iron oxide plus carbon dioxide. These are all possible reactions which are happening in the blast furnace. Please note it down so we can have a discussion on this later on. Shall I move on? Okay, Arisha, I'm waiting. I explain it again, Hajra. Part of the furnace. The upper part, the temperature is lower and the iron oxides, Fe203 and Fe304, coming from the top, are reduced in steps to FeO, iron oxides. Uh, okay, Hajra, have you understood that uh, in the first process we were burning uh, carbon, we were burning coal, and the heat was traveling up uh, on the upper side of the furnace, and from the uh, towards the upper side of the furnace, and from the upper side of the furnace, Fe2O3 is coming down. Is it clear so far? Great, let's uh, move on step by step. Fe203 and Fe304 coming from the top are reduced in steps. Remember, they are using two types of oxides right now. One is Fe2O3 and the other one is Fe304. I repeat, they are using two kinds of oxides in the same process. At the one time, one is Fe2O3 and the other one is Fe3O4. It's important point to note down. To FeO. Limestone is also decomposed to CO, which removes silicate. Okay, there are three steps so far. Number one was combustion, which happened with carbon and uh, with, with coal and oxygen. 
Number two was uh, the reactions of oxides with carbon monoxide. And number three is the addition of the limestone. Very right, Bria and Hajar are both. So let's see what is the working of uh, limestone. Limestone is also decomposed <laughs> potassium oxide, which removes silicates impurities of the ore as slag. The slag is in molten state and separated out from the iron. If anyone wants to say something, I'm my eyes are on the chat box. You can always write it down. <clears throat> is it clear to all of you so far? Or do you have any questions? A uh, yes from Riha and Hajra and Fatima Khoso and Manur. I want answers from everyone. Is it clear? It's a yes or a no. Urusha, Aima Amir, Aksa, Hamida Meman, Manal Shajad, Alisha, Hiba Asi, Maruk Yusuf. Still not all the yes. Ashma Lucky, Fatma Rafiq, great. Impurity of the ore as slag. The slag is in molten state and separates out from iron. Thus, the reduction reactions taking place in the lower temperature range and in the higher temperature range depend on the points of corresponding intersections in the delta R G minus versus T plot. Do not uh, panic because this delta R G minus versus T plots is not in your course. What you need to understand over here is that reduction reactions are very much <clears throat> dependent on the temperature ranges. It can be a lower temperature range. It can be a higher temperature range as well. Very right. Sindhaline, which three point are you talking about? The, if you are talking about the three steps, the first step was uh, decombustion. Second step was the reaction of oxides with carbon monoxide and the third step was or the third thing which you need to observe is uh, the reaction or uh, the reasons of the presence of limestone. These reactions can be given as follows. At 500 to 800 Kelvin, lower temperature range in the blast furnace. 3 Fe2O3 plus CO gives 2 Fe3O. It's a very good information. That is why I've added into this because this thing is not given in the books uh, right away. And uh, it says number one that at 500. Um, Five hundred to eight hundred Kelvin lower temperature range in the blast furnace. Less dense in uh, as compared to iron. Uh, Briha, not less dense as uh, overall in comparison to iron. That is why it can stay on the top of the iron. They both are heavy. They both have densities. Uh, no, 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 Ajay, your notes are com uh, completely fine. Yes, slag and iron. They both comes at the bottom. They both. I'll show it over here. If we say slag or if we say iron, they, they both come at the top. But if we compare the densities of both of them, slag is less dense and uh, slag stays at the bottom and we can tap it off. That is the only thing. That's a comparison between slag and iron. Otherwise, they both are heavy. plus CO gives 2 Fe3O4 plus CO2. Equation 11. Fe3O4 plus 4 CO gives 3 Fe plus 4 CO2. Equation 12. Fe2O3 plus CO gives 2 FeO plus CO2. Equation 13. At 900 to 50. I hope you have noted down all the equations.
A yes or a no? A yes from Bria's side, Manur, okay, Sandaleen, Arisha, Hajra, great. 100 Kelvin, high temperature range in the blast furnace. C plus CO2 gives 2CO, equation 14. FeO plus CO gives Fe plus CO2 equation 15. The iron obtained from blast furnace contains about 4% carbon and many impurities in small amount. I'm giving you a minute to write it down. Uh, this. Okay, uh, I'm going back. I'm keeping this. Uh, I'm keeping this for a good one minute. You can write it and then I'll move on again and then you can write that, al that also. Please let me know when you're done writing. Okay, I'm up. Get it, Arisha. Awesome. Let's move on. Now write this one, 900 to 1500 Calvin, higher temperature range in the blast furnace. The iron obtained from blast furnace contains about 4% of carbon and many impurities in the smaller amount. Again, a very uh, good information to remember. Uh, Bria, I didn't get it. Yes, in the previous slide. So what's happening? This C combustion reaction is going on. Combustion reaction means a continuous heat uh, has been produced. When a continuous heat has been produced, the temperature is rising from lower ranges to the higher ranges. At every range, certain reaction will happen. That is a kind of an answer to first question of yours as well. From 500 to 800, when it reached the temperature in the blast furnace and the reaction happens, which, which has been given in the previous slide, when temperature ranges from 900 to 1500 degree, uh, degree Kelvin, then these reaction happens. Because So see the only phenomena in the blast furnace which is working is the rise in temperature. And that rise in temperature is giving different kind of reactions which you need to remember or memorize that which reaction is happening at which range of temperature. Clear? Let me know when you're done writing with this so that I can move on. Okay, great. Blast furnace contains about 4% carbon and many impurities in small amount. Example, S, P, S, I, M, N.
sorry just uh, let me load my presentation Thank God. Okay. Can you all uh, see the presentation now? Okay, and I can see your yes. So here is the blast furnace in front of you. Uh, in this blast furnace, they have given you different temperature zones. that at which uh, thing uh, what is happening we will begin with step number 1 one, one by one one is uh, carbon and oxygen they carbon and oxygen gas they are um, reacting together and uh, forming carbon dioxide is there any question so far in the first step this is the first stage that uh, carbon okay the next one is uh, carbon monoxide is made uh, the carbon with more coke like this carbon this carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide this is we all already studied in the third step uh, we says in third step it says iron 3 oxide is reduced this is uh, where the extraction occurs when carbon monoxide react with the iron ore giving the liquid uh, equation is fe2o3 reacting with carbon monoxide and converting into iron and uh, carbon dioxide again uh, what is the step the step is the first of all is the combustion reaction and after combustion reaction then it is uh, i will repeat it uh, hamida i will repeat it step uh, stage number 3 is iron oxide is convert uh, iron oxide is reacting with carbon monoxide and converting into iron and uh, carbon dioxide then uh, we discussed about the limestone limestone is present is presented in the furnace to help remove impurities the main impurity in iron ore is sand which is chemically uh, is silicon dioxide inside the furnace decomposed inside and uh, carbon so limestone is basically it is uh, there to remove all kind of impurities this would be the reaction the carbon dioxide which is produced react with the hot coke to produce more carbon monoxide so whatever carbon dioxide is being produced even from the limestone that is uh, um, also used to convert uh, coke into carbon monoxide but the limestone combines with the sand impurities to form molten slag again i repeat <clears throat> carb uh, calcium carbonate is being used to uh, convert impurities or to remove impurities and after removing impurities it is converting into slag and how that slag is tapered off it's already being discussed so far right now if you have any question please feel free to ask me is there any question okay i must say is all clear what what the other people has to say no from aksa manur no urusha no padma gosu no ashmal no what about alvina what about uh, alisha hiba says no fadna peak says no khansa what about you 
Raima said nothing. So what about you? Great. Everybody should be participating, please. Step number uh, step number two was uh, the formation of uh, carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. See, these are steps which can be interrelated to each other. Amina, there you go for stage number step number two. You, if you can see that. Stage number one is carbon reacting with oxygen gas and converting into carbon dioxide and then carbon dioxide is further reacting with carbon and converting into carbon monoxide. Step number one is the formation of carbon dioxide. Step number two is the formation of carbon monoxide. Step number three is the reduction of iron oxides and uh, step number uh, four is the removal of the impurities. No problem at all. Uh, keep asking questions that actually really motivates me uh, to go further. Now, and an another important point is the waste of gases, where waste gases, hot carbon dioxide and nitrogen came out of the top of the furnace. The heat is transferred from the heat coming in the flask. There are two gases, which are the waste gases, because technically we do not have any use of these gases anymore when they uh, when they get over from the reactions and uh, those gases are carbon dioxide and nitrogen so we call them waste gases because they removed out of the system without any uh, further usage it can be a part of the uh, uh, it can be the part of the impurities like sand so that would be a probability Uh, when we say about uh, impurities, we can have calcium silicate, we can have sand, we can have another, uh, any other waste, uh, sorry, any, any other impurity. So keep that thing in your mind. Before I move ahead uh, with the production of steel, uh, I think I should ask some questions from somebody. So get prepared. I can ask anything from anyone. What can you see right now in front of you? Alvina, waste gases are the ones Not which, uh, which uh, cannot be used anymore further. Great. Waste gases are the ones which cannot be used anymore further in the process. That, that is why we call them a waste and uh, we just remove it from the system after the reaction completes. OK, uh, so. Let's begin. With. With whom? Part Bank also. <clears throat> tell me. Uh, tell me about Part Bank also will be telling me about um, what are the ores uh, we can use or uh, that the the ores of iron it's very simple what are the ores of iron and this hematite wait, wait 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 let me finish and the first step happens in the blast furnace now answer my question miss i only know one ore that's hematite can any one of you uh, chip in and tell me the name of the other ores uh, miss, it's hematite, magnetite, uh, iron pyrite, and cedrotite. Very good. Awesome, Manwar. Loving your answers. Yes, these are uh, hematite, magnet, uh, box, not bauxite, for God's sake. Uh, hematite, magnetite. These are so rhyming words. Good job, Hajra. And Raima and Hamida and uh, Briha. Yeah, they are siblings. I, I say it sounds really nice. They can be siblings together, like hematite, magnetite, iron pyrite, and sidrite. 
we are five i need to figure out one more name anyways uh, don't distract riha uh, fatma coming back to you <clears throat> what is the step number 1 we uh, extraction of iron from its oxide and blast furnace is that the step number 1 first first we use the ores okay. do we use the ores first like is that the first process must we uh, take out the impurities from the ores uh that is the process uh, before the starting before starting of uh, extraction of iron which we call purification or treating uh, ores but i want to know the first process within the blast furnace like Mis combustion very good not bad yes so step number 1 or the first process is combustion padma would you like to explain bit uh, what happens in combustion Miss carbon dioxide is produced when we use carbon and, and oxygen. How? Miss Sorry, come again. Uh, Did you? Miss, uh, the burning. Miss, I don't know. It's okay. You can always try. Miss, I think carbon and oxygen react to give carbon dioxide. See, you are doing really good job. and uh, that's right carbon and carbon di- carbon and oxygen react together in the form carbon dioxide uh what will be the case if carbon dioxide react with more carbon this it will be carbon monoxide very good this is the step number 1 see you have done a great job excellent excellent okay um very uh, very good fatma koso uh, this is the first step that is the uh, combustion reaction in when carbon and oxygen are reacting and forming carbon dioxide and further we are getting carbon monoxide uh raima will you please like to share with me step number 2 the second sort of reactions that are happening is that the second one raima limestone is reacting with coke raima unmute your mic and tell me the second step or the second kind of reactions which are happening basically the second step was the formation of carbon dioxide but i'm just summarizing it in one step now i want you to move ahead with uh... okay all right uh hiba hasib can you tell me the next step or the next reactions that happens in a reaction uh, in the blast furnace iron is removed from its oxides and how does that happen which which iron is reacting to what fe2o3 reacts with carbon monoxide to to give fe3o4 and carbon monoxide carbon dioxide yeah. it can be carbon monoxide in the case of hematite uh, Uh, sorry in the case of magnetite but your answer is perfect awesome thank you vedas now i would like to hear from ashmal ashmal uh, why do we use uh, calcium carbonate Ashmal, why do we use calcium carbonate? Okay, Manal Shuja, can you answer this question? Why do we use calcium carbonate and how do we use it? Very good, Raima. Very good, Hamida. Manal, unmute your mic and tell me. Yes, we use it to remove impurity. And what will be the reaction? There, there are two possible reactions. The first reaction would be.
Hello. The first reaction would be. Uh, miss, I'm not. That's not right. The first reaction would be calcium carbonate, which is uh, breaking down into what? Very good, Hajra. Very good, Briha, Hamida, Aima. Aima, can you answer this question by unmute uh, your mic? Uh, miss, uh, I, calcium carbonate reacts with yeah. uh, sand to form slag. But uh, what what is what uh, will be the result of a breakdown of calcium carbonate? Because calcium carbonate has to break it broken down first. Very good, Yurusha. Uh, very good, Yurusha. I don't remember that, Miss Anila. That's right. Uh, I will get back to you again because you need okay. to remember. Ashmal, can you? Uh, no, Ashmal, uh, my come. Yes, Bria, you can. You may proceed. Calcium carbonate is needed to form calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Calcium oxide further reacts with silicon dioxide to, uh, to form slag. Very good. Thank you so much. A bingo answer. You know, uh, uh, see, I, I completely understand uh, that uh, these days these classes are very difficult not only for you to attend, but for us to conduct as well, because uh, there is a less motivation. But uh, CI has uh, been uh, changing and saying things again and again, uh, which means that uh, there are still things going on, changes in the decisions in terms of uh, how to go about uh, the thing. Your online sessions and your online participations is the uh, are the only things which still tell us that where are you standing? That is why all of your teachers are putting really hard. Uh, if I talk about myself, I'm coming in every class five minutes uh, earlier and then waiting for you all and then preparing the lectures because I do understand that I still am in the process of giving you expected grades uh, where every single day my opinion changes for someone. Even your one wrong answer gives a very, very big impact. I'm here. I'm teaching you. I'm telling you everything which possibly I could to the related topic. I chose these topics very wisely, keeping a lot of things in my mind. You can see that uh, every day you are studying a new thing. It's all because these things matters a lot. So please try and understand the uh, sensitivity. It's not easy being a teacher to predict someone's future. It's not easy. It's very hard. I can feel the pain. Uh, but support us. Support us. Support me in terms of uh, keep on giving your participations. We will have rank orders. We will have uh, rank orders for all three sections. There I have to kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, put forward the cases of my own students for that. I really need a strong gra ground and that strong ground will be your participation and will be your attendance in the classes as well. For example, if I may say that XYZ is, uh, is, is an A star student and they ask me, why are you so sure about it? I can right away open the chat windows because Microsoft says everything. And I can show them that, see how active this student is. Don't you think that this student uh, deserves to get this grade? So I, I don't mean to scare you, but I just am asking you to be very, very vigilant and be very active in your classes. I'm recording sessions. I am keeping an eye on the uh, on your attendance. Even Savera is there to let me know who was there, who was not. So. Try and understand by we be doing all these efforts for a certain reason. So please be a support. OK. <clears throat> uh, so we discussed about uh, calcium carbonate as well. I will quickly give a look now on um, the formation of steel. I'm changing my screen again. Uh, 
uh, what can you see now on the screens? Very good. So uh, watch this video very carefully and uh, tell me if you do not understand anything, please. Fracture of steel. A Bessemer converter is used for the manufacture of steel. Uh, the first one which we have used in the, the extraction of iron was a blast furnace. And uh, this one is a Bessemer process. From pig iron. This is what a Bessemer converter looks like. Looks complicated, doesn't it? Well, let us make it simpler for you. Click within the highlighted ring for a diagrammatic view. The converter is a pear-shaped furnace about 20 feet high and 10 feet in diameter. I want you to please note it down uh, with you that uh, this uh, Bessemer converter is a pear shaped furnace which is 20 feet high and 10 feet in diameter. It is made of steel with fire clay bricks to resist heat. Observe the air holes called two ears at the base. This allows entry of air into the furnace. The converter can be rotated horizontally on its axis to enable entry of molten pig iron. The I hope it's uh, easy to understand. The other thing is, uh, what did I say? Uh, they, what did it say? Is it uh, made of steel with fire clay? Sure, Manur, I can. Uh, it made of steel with fire clay uh, and then air holes. Uh, okay. Let me play from here. Observe the air holes called two ears at the base. This allows entry of air into the furnace. The converter can be rotated horizontally on its axis to enable entry of molten pig iron, the raw material. Click on the button to view the working of the converter. A blast of hot air is sent into the converter through the two years. The air oxidizes the impurities present in pig iron. The impurities, manganese and silicon are converted into the respective oxides that get. So might uh, the sample they are using, uh, manganese can also be an impurity. So you can always write down that the impurities uh, which are manganese, silicon uh, respectively, they can be uh, removed as manganese oxide and silicon dioxide. I repeat, there are two kinds of impurities they are discussing. One is manganese and the other one is silicon and they can be removed as manganese oxide and silicon dioxide. Please let me know when you have noted it down. Are you done writing? Shall I move on? Okay, Hamida says done. Riya says yes. Manur, Hajra, Fatima. Expelled out. Yes. Carbon is oxidized to carbon monoxide. 
which burns with a blue flame at the mouth of the converter. Uh, yes, it oxidizes iron, and also now you will see the reactions of the air or oxygen with the the respective components. The oxides of manganese and silicon react with each other to form a slag. When all the carbon monoxide burns off, blue flame dies out. Now a required amount. So here's the thing: when the blue flames is dies out, that means all of the carbon monoxide is being burned. and then impurities are being removed of carbon and manganese is added in the form of spigelsin an alloy of iron containing carbon and manganese homogeneous mixing of the alloy with molten iron is ensured by prolonged entry of the hot carbon and manganese they are added in the form of uh, alloys uh, or they they are added into the iron and uh, why do we add alloys in another metal do you know about it Quickly answer this question. Why they are adding carbon and manganese into the iron? Now, can you tell me why do they add alloys? Oh, sorry. Why do they form alloys? Very good. Very good. To make it more strong. A blast of air. The resulting product is manganese steel. it is removed by tilting the converter that's it bismuth converter uh it, first of all uh, by burning or by making the oxides uh, the impurities has been removed and then the metals have been added uh, so, sorry the components have been added and those components are added to convert this uh, iron into steel and this is called uh, making alloys and why do we go for uh, alloys because uh, that's how we can increase the strength of a metal and we can use it for uh, different purposes Okay, uh, almost done. Now get ready for uh, the wrap up. So I will pick any name, and uh, they can go with the wrap up thing. rusting is another process and uh, rusting is a chemically process by which iron is converted through its reaction with oxygen we all know about it uh, that whenever iron reacts with oxygen it does rust and this is the equation it can react with oxygen in a kind of a moisture and convert into fe2o3 with the water molecules and uh, then we have uh, the explanation that uh, why uh, redox why rusting of iron is a redox reaction i'll upload this uh, this powerpoint presentation with uh, some questions regarding to the rusting of iron and redox reaction we have already studied redox reaction so you can always relate back to the concept and try and understand things there are some methods which can uh, help to uh, prevent rusting which are painting galvanizing and coating of iron with less reactive metals uh, from the tin that's it uh, now i want aksa to please tell me uh, from where we begin and where did we end yes miss Miss, we started with the extraction of iron today. We learned mm -hmm. that iron is extracted from a blast furnace, and mm -hmm. that uh, in that blast furnace, hot air is blown. Hot air is blown from the bottom, and coke is also added from the bottom. 
the combustion reaction of coke uh, helps raise it uh, raise the temperature to almost 200 uh, 2200 uh, kelvin uh, that's the main source of heat in the blast furnace and after mm -hmm. that carbon monoxide uh, carbon monoxide and heat move up uh, towards the top of the furnace and from the top of the furnace iron oxide is added there are two types of iron oxides added which are fe fe2o3 and fe3o4 they both are reduced to iron oxide which is feo and then calcium calcium carbonate is also uh, therm thermally decomposed into calcium mm -hmm. oxide and uh, carbon dioxide this reacts with silica, which is sand, and impurities to produce slag. Slag, is, slag then sinks to the bottom. And uh, that way we get, uh, and then iron reacts with carbon monoxide at around 900 to 1500 Kelvin. When iron oxide reacts with carbon monoxide, it produces iron and carbon dioxide. This iron is called pig iron or cast iron, which has about 4% carbon content in it. And then after that, iron, uh, the Bessemer converter converts this uh, okay. this iron into steel. Aksa, 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 thank you so much. It was a superb uh, wrap okay, up man. till now so far. Amazingly done. Aima, I want you to continue from Bessemer's process now. Aima, you there? Miss. Uh Yes, yeah. yes, I'm here. Uh, so a Bessemer converter is used in the manufacture of steel and it is a pier shaped furnace. It is 20 feet high and it is 10 feet in diameter. It is made of steel with um, a fire clay, uh, mm -hmm. with fire clay bricks and it has air holes uh, no, at the base that allow the passage of air. And mm -hmm. we have like a hot air uh outlet inside it and mm -hmm. when the hot air enters it oxidizes the iron and mm -hmm. um, um i don't remember after that come on emma you can do it it uh, um oxidizes the iron and it converts carbon dioxide mm. carbon dioxide uh, basically is the carbon monoxide uh, is being converted into carbon di dioxide or carbon monoxide mm -hmm. movements are there but it's okay nice try uh, i want uh, i want i want manur to begin from here now and end it, Manur. In a way, nobody has ever done that before. Um, yes, miss. So the iron gets oxidized and oxygen is uh, reduced. Uh, and then steel is formed. Slags uh, is uh, on the top. And steel is formed. And we can uh, remove it by tilting. And then we studied about uh, rusting, which is a process uh, which occurs when iron is exposed to oxygen and a layer of iron oxide is formed and uh, we learned um, that um, the types of rusting like uh, methods to reduce rusting such as painting and uh, coating it with iron uh, coating iron with a less reactive metal and you never disappoint me manur love you so much for uh, such a brilliant end and uh, aksa uh, Aima, you have done also a great job, but Aima, my expectations were a little higher and you know it very well. The, the way you began, I thought my girl is back, but it's all right. Uh, anyways, uh, this is it for today's class. Um, I'm thinking about uh, what, kind of assi what kind of assignment can be given on extraction of iron and uh, extraction of aluminium. Let's see what comes in my mind. So I'll uh, let you know for sure.